Hi everybody! Today I'm going to be doing two things. The first one is putting my makeup on, because I have to go to work. And the second one is answering a Get Your Freak On 15 Weird Facts tag. I'm gonna be multitasking the shit out of this video, so keep up, okay? And before I start doing anything, I just want to say that I'm gonna be posting Halloween videos starting this week. So if you have requests, just send me a note and... Yeah, I always could always use some great inspiration, okay? Well, I'm just gonna get started. What's a nickname only your family calls you? Well, I don't really have that many nicknames as a grown-up. Um, I guess I had a bunch of them when I was a kid. My aunt used to call me Tessie Lessie for some reason. Um, but now everybody just calls me Tessa, so it's, yeah, pretty boring, I guess. What's a weird habit of yours? Wow, I have a lot of strange things going on. Um, I'm pretty sure that I have uh, ADHD because I'm like obsessive about certain things. I hate it when people touch or move my stuff, for instance. Um, I burp a lot. I don't know if that's a weird habit. We just do that in our family, I guess. Do you have any weird phobias? I fucking hate butterflies. They're the most disgusting creature on this earth ever. And I hope they die, basically. I don't think they're beautiful. I think they're flapping disgusting. Their wings look like eyes. It's ugh, really, really gross. What's a song you secretly love to blast and belt out when you're alone? Um, for some reason I have a thing for Disney songs. I love singing um, The Little Mermaid, uh, a part of that world, but I sing it in Swedish. And I love singing the Hercules uh, Go the Distance by Hercules. I'm not gonna sing that now because it's gonna sound really, really awful, but yeah, that's, for some reason, Disney tunes get caught in my head more than a Stephen Lynch song, so yeah. What is your biggest pet peeve? Well, I have a lot of those, I guess. Um, I, basically, I just don't like intolerance. Just people who don't want equal rights for everyone, that really pisses me off, so I guess that would be the biggest one. I don't really know if that's considered a pet peeve, but whatever. What is one of your nervous habits? Well, I guess I talk a lot when I'm nervous. Um, it kind of depends on the situation though. If it's like for a job interview, um, I might go either way. I might talk too much or too little, but um, yeah, just some kind of error in talking, I guess would be the general thing. Um, I also kind of tend to do this really annoying thing with my plugs, you know, just take them out and put it, put them back in. I don't know why I do that, I just, no, I can't get this fucker back in. Um, yeah, I do that a lot, I don't do that just when I'm nervous, I just can't stop fiddling with those things. What side of the bed do you sleep on? Um, well, <laughs> that depends, I mean, I have a boyfriend and we share a bed, and right now I sleep towards, like, in towards the wall. Um, I guess I like being able to turn in towards the wall, kind of closing everything off. Um, but <laughs> the thing is, as soon as he leaves the bed, like, I don't know, to go to the bathroom or something, I fucking roll into the middle of the bed and I refuse to move. I do like the octopus, you know, when your limbs are like this all over the bed. And he's like, uh huh, when he gets back and he has to roll me over and it's a big mess. But yeah, if I were to sleep, if I sleep alone, I sleep in the middle of the bed. Just spread out as much as possible, lying flat on my stomach and being pretty much impossible to wake up. That's a really nice habit of mine. What was your first stuffed animal and its name? Well, I had a lot of stuffed animals when I was a kid. Um, my favorite one, I don't know if it was the first one I got, but I got it when I was really young. It was a big, like huge yellow dog. Um, I still have him. His name is Pelle, which is a Swedish dog name. Um, or just, I don't know, Swedish name. And he still lives with my parents. So I'm giving him a big ol' hug whenever I go visit them. Um, yeah, that's, that's probably, yeah. What's the one drink you always order at Starbucks? Yeah, in Sweden there's one entire Starbucks store in the entire country and that is at Arlanda Airport. So I'm not gonna go to the airport just to buy coffee or whatever. Coffee is disgusting, by the way, I don't drink coffee. 
but I've been to Starbucks in Cardiff and London and stuff, and I think I bought like a, god, you know those that have like a bunch of names, like half calf D, blah blah blah, mocha latte, extra foam, no sprinkles, th that kind of thing, I tried one of those, um, and it was kind of like a milkshake, I guess, um, yeah, it was okay, I just, I don't drink coffee, so... Starbucks isn't really... I'm not that sad that we don't have it in Sweden. What's the beauty rule you preach but never actually practice? I don't consider myself as somebody who preaches beauty rules. That's just stupid. I mean, people can do what they want, obviously. Um, so that's kind of a weird question. Plus, I'm not a makeup artist, as I've stated before. I'm just somebody who really, really likes makeup, so... Um, I don't know. I don't think there's anything that I've recommended you guys not to do and then done it myself, so... Nope. I'll stay true to my word, man. Which way do you face in the shower? Like, seriously? What kind of a question is that? I mean, I enter the shower face first, and then I turn around to reach everywhere. <laughs> Like, who backs into the shower? Honestly, like, okay, beep, beep, beep. People do that? Uh, no, face first and then turn around until I'm all covered in water and shit. And I'm one of those people who don't take the handle down and go like this. I just keep it up there so I can move around. This just freaks me out. Do you have any weird body skills? Well, I'm over flexible. Um, I have overflexible joints, which a lot of girls actually have, it's quite common, but, you know, my arm can kind of look like it's dislocated sometimes, and stuff like that. Um, I don't know if that's a skill, really. I guess the burping is kind of a skill. <laughs> um, I mean, obviously I can do, like, pole stuff, but no, that's not, hmm. I can do the knuckle thing. But pretty much everyone can do that. And it's not really a skill, it's just really bad for your knuckles. Um, I don't think I have any body skills. What's your favorite comfort food or food that's bad but you love to eat it anyways? I'm not one of those people who like, oh my god, I have to eat asparagus or carrots or whatever for a week because I had a burger, oh my god. Yeah, that's not gonna beat me. Um. I love food, I eat what I want, and it works out for me. Uh, I'm not a big fan of like fast food, that kind of junk food. I don't like hang out at McDonald's all the time and get all greased up. My kind of, the only time I would eat stuff like that is if I'm hungover and I desperately need like fries. But otherwise, um, I basically just really like meat, like meat with a nice sauce, that's, I like that. That works for me, but I don't know if that qualifies for as junk food, but I guess, I mean I like pizza and stuff like normal people, but I'm not crazy about it. Does that answer the question? I don't know. Fuck it, that's all you get. What's the phrase or exclamation you always say? Awesome! I say awesome all the time, which I kind of annoy myself, actually. I don't know why, but it's kind of my favorite word for expressing when I like something. <laughs> awesome! Awesome! Awesomeness. Oh, hi. I only have one eyebrow, and it's totally red and friggy, and it's awesome. 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 Ooh, it's awesome. It's awesome. It's awesome. 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 That's awesome. I think this eyebrow pen is awesome. Time to sleep. What are you actually wearing? Dude, sleep clothes? Are you fucking kidding me? I don't wear PJs. I'm 29 years old. Come on. I sleep in the fucking nude. Birthday suit. That's the only thing I wear. There are two exceptions for that. One is if I'm sharing a bed with somebody other than my boyfriend. I kind of don't want to go and rub my ass against them. That would be rude. Um, and the second one is if I'm like seriously sick or, you know, have a fever and 
like just freezing, then yeah, I would probably wear something like my one piece <laughs> or something to keep warm, but clothes for bed, people, no, come on, seriously, naked is the shit. Well, that was all the questions. Um, I <laughs> This is the first time I've done a tag, so excuse me if I did it wrong or sucked or, you know, but fuck it, this is me. So yeah, my makeup is all done now. Multitasking, people. So I'm just gonna go to work and Halloween requests. Please post some stuff and uh, I'll just get right on that. And thank you for watching.